Welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a beautiful Phoenix Artisan accoutrement shave today. I'm going to be using pretty much my favourite scent that's come out of the whole scent range, the whole product range. I've not used a lot of it, but this is my favourite by far. In fact, it's one of the best scents in the den. I really enjoy it. It is Good Vibrations. And it's basically, uh, it says a boardwalk barbershop scent. Now it does have a barbershop scent to it. But it's so much more, there's a sweetness to it. It's almost a gourmand scent. And I think that's why I really enjoy the smell of it. It smells sweet. It almost smells tasty. But it's a beautiful scented silk. Performs very, very well. I will be using the splash. And we'll see how we go. Now, the brush for today, I haven't used for a little while. This brush basically featured on the channel for every shave through the whole of November. Just flick out some of the excess and that is the Simulg Owners Club Taj Resin. It's named the Taj because of the colour of Taj, 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 Taj. And it's basically the colour representing the Taj Mahal in India. Now, I think it's a smart move from Simulg because obviously I would say 99 out of 100 companies would call that ivory colour. And even though it's made out of resin or plastic or whatever you want to call it, a lot of people out there just will not buy anything that's called ivory. It's just the way the world is. It's got a lot of bad press over the years and obviously all this bad shit that happened in regards to getting ivory. So, Taj resin. Same colour, just different name. And it's got a 24mm premium cerda or bristle knot, bow knot. This one's pretty well broken in now. I don't think it will get any softer. I don't know why I just soaked it again, but straight into the soap. Here we go. Now, I've notoriously not got the best of ladders out of this brush. I sort of get a great first ladder and then struggle with the rest of them in terms of second and third applications from the one load. So let's get the brush loaded up nice and heavy today and see how we go. Breaking out the straight razor again. I think it's going to be pretty much a sort of feature on the channel now that a straight razor will make it an appearance quite regularly, even if it's just for the first pass. Now, the reason I'm sticking just to the first pass at the moment is pretty much sort of logical. I just want to sort of master the basics of it, master the basics of the straight. And doing with the grain is getting easier with each go. So I think, Jesus, that's a hell of a load. I think going, doing it that way is going to allow me to get to a point where, you know, I feel really, really comfortable with the grain. Time to move on to cross the grain and get, get really comfortable with that and incorporate that into the shave as well. Now, straight razors will not take over in the den as much as I really enjoy using them. They are a unique sort of shave. just prefer a DE razor and sadly at the moment I'm getting better shaves in terms of closeness and less irritation from cartridge razors so go figure I left the scene of cartridge razors to seek something better I found something better and more enjoyable and then find that once I've got all the techniques and ability with lathering and pressure and how to actually shave that a cartridge razor does a better job than anything for me at the moment but it doesn't change nothing. I love double-edged razors. I love the the whole the whole thing about it. The whole thing that's surrounding wet shaving in terms of creating the lather with the brush, using the straight razor, using the double-edged razor, whatever razor you choose on the day. So this is very pasty. So I'm just going to dip the tips. Start painting water. Now someone asked, I've just done the ladder tutorial that came out on Tuesday. I say that now, but this video might not come out for a week or two. I don't know when this video will actually make my channel. But I've just done the ladder tutorial and someone asked to do it with a board brush and with a, a badger brush because obviously different fibres. In theory, and I have tried it nine times out of ten, it works. If you just follow the same principles with any brush, by just dipping the tips as I am now and painting it in until it goes translucent and you can see the skin through it pretty much all over. 
you will gain the same results. In some cases, maybe with the natural hairbrushes, you might end up with a better result because it holds more moisture at the base of the knot. So as you splay it and start working the lather, it'll add the water better. It'll add more water for you. So it's really slick so Just keep dipping. So we'll just try and test that right now. I know this isn't a lather tutorial. But what you're looking for is pretty much as that looks now, but all over. So I'm just going to keep dipping. And again. Oh, what was I going to hear there? Almost there. Maybe another two dips. I'd probably just do one actually. Yeah, one more. Right, so you can see that it's pretty translucent. As I'm pulling the brush over, it's pretty translucent all over. So that tells me now, you can see how glossy that lather is. It tells me now that I'm at a position really where there's enough moisture in the load that's on my face. There's enough moisture now in the brush in terms of how wet the lather is in here, the load. I can splay the brush now and create a lather. So let's just test that. Now this should just explode because like I say, there's way more water content, especially in a bore brush, which actually absorb, absorbs, absorbs the water. So I should be able to create my full ladder here without adding any more water, just based on the exact same principles that I did with the synthetic brush in my ladder tutorial, my foolproof guide to creating a ladder. Yeah, so I'm not going to have to add any more water to this. You can see the build up on my neck is huge. Scent. I really do. And that's it. That is an outstanding ladder. In fact, I'd go as far as to say this, that's the best ladder I've created with that brush. Right, first razor for today is going to be my Drew Dick Custom. Now this is a 7 8 You can see Drew Dick's logo just on the side there. It is pretty much 20 layer Damascus steel with barber's notch. It has got an English point and it is half hollow. Now the scales on this one are Asian striped ebony or Makassar ebony. It's got G10 white liners, which are the parts just in here, the white bits. Let's have a look. Where it's sort of white inside. And then it's got a natural horn wedge. Now I will say the wedge, albeit is pretty pretty well fitted, there's a little bit of gap all the way around it. And I sort of noticed beforehand that there is a part on this that you can't really see, but there's a part on the scales that's been missed by some of the varnish. It looks like it was sanded off at the last minute and, and then not retopped up with the, whatever the coating is that's on this. But other than that, it's a beautiful razor. Now I have just stropped it 25 times, I think, just before the shave. And let's just see how it feels. Feels brilliant. Feels super smooth.
It's funny, the more you use these razors, the straights. Like the first time I used it, I approached it with a really light touch. And you really don't have to. <laughs> it's amazing how much pressure you can put on with a straight razor and get very, very minimal irritation. Switch into the left hand now. It becomes more and more easier to be ambidextrous with the razor. And this one, the actual grip on it, is so much easier. You get a double time on the end here, you can get two fingers on there, two on the front. It's got the jimps on top, it is such a comfortable razor to hold. I didn't think it would be, I thought it would be a bit of a struggle. But it's not, it's a really simple razor to use. Now if you've watched me beforehand trying to do that part of my neck, you'll know that it took me a long time in the beginning to get that nice and smooth. However now, without any real effort, I can get really right into the corners of my neck. I thought having a straight edge, I was going to struggle forever because of the concave in my neck, but I don't now. It just gets in there, it gets on there flat. And as you can see, that's a full first pass pretty much. I know it's not as clean and tidy as say the stallion who I no longer watch, or Kai Triska, or Rudd Shaves. It's not that clean, so I'll still get bits of ladder here and there. But a superb first pass with no irritation that I can feel so far, no blood which is a bonus, and it's pretty close. You know, I've got less than 24 hours growth, so I'm not expecting a lot of hair or to have too many issues, but to get through that first pass so much smoother and more comfortable than I did the first time with the straight razor, it's just a massive bonus straight off the bat. Just waiting for this to drain a little bit. Give the sink a bit of a clean. Put the water on my hands. And this stuff's super slick. It really is. Super, super slick. Awesome soap. So I've got to move on now to ladder or application of the ladder number two. Yeah, I've got to say, I think this is easily the best ladder I've created with that brush. So across the green now with the Christopher Bradley open comb from Carve Shaving Company. Now, if you've been watching the channel lately, the blade that is in this is the same blade that's been in it for about 10 plus shaves, I think, now. That's the Gillette a Super Stainless the Spoiler. All the way from America, it is a vintage blade. Shaves so so nicely. 
very sharp. But they're super smooth. Really, really smooth. Right, let's wipe the face again. apply lather application number three. Right, so I'm going to go for pass number three. All right, I'll be back, and as you can see, the lather is gone. I just took a phone call there from Perth Glory Football Club, so we've just pu purchased a package for the last four games of the season, and it took a little bit of time, so I'm gonna just wet my face and sort of, hopefully, try and re-lather what I missed the last time. I don't even remember where the lather was up to. Just go for that. And here we go. So normally for myself and the wife and the three kids, it's roughly between 100 and 120 bucks for the five of us to go to the game. There's four games left at home in the season. Obviously, surprise, surprise, I'm now having issues with my phone. So <laughs> who knows what's going on? It says I've got loads of storage, but it's not letting me store anymore. So we'll see how we go. But after quite a long time, I've ended up with a superb shape. Now, I can feel a slight, slight burn on my skin from the soap. I don't think it's actually really a reaction. I think it's the fact that I had the soap on my skin for so long when I was on the phone call. Extremely close, comfortable shave with no real irritation. I'm not even sure if this is still recording, so I'm either talking to myself or it's still recording. We'll soon find out, I suppose. Right, so I've dried off, the has dried off. I'm just going to rinse the brush out. So the brush performed very, very well today. And in, in all honesty, it hasn't performed that well, I don't think, in the whole time I've had it. I've had good lathers from it, don't get me wrong. It's lathers that are good enough to shave with, but nothing to write home about. That one in particular was a very, very good lather. I love the look of the same old brush after you've used it and you've still got that moisture in the knot and you've flipped all the water out so that is the knot but you can see there it's a beautiful looking knot a real sort of sort of rustic looking so I'm going to rinse the soap out now as you guys know I cannot stand having the proto lather or the little bits of, sort of soap bubbles or suds or lather on top of the soap I like it to look like that Right, so that's all done and dusted. I'm now going to finish off with a splash. I'll give it a shake. It doesn't really need a shake at all, honestly. This is blended so well 
that it never actually settles, nothing floats to the top or the bottom, it's just been done so well. So obviously Douglas Smythe over at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements does a phenomenal job with the splashes. Now I have had reactions in the past to Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements splashes. This one in particular doesn't give me a reaction, but it does leave me smelling super. Oh, I fucking smell so good. A good little dollop of that. Tell you what, that is one absolutely outstanding scent. The scent on that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. The burn, the burn is very, very crisp. Now there is, I'm pretty sure there's menthol in here because I'm getting a beautiful cooling sensation. However, where is thing? Oh, here we go. Do you know what? There isn't actually any menthol. I don't know what's giving me the cooling sensation, but it's very, very cooling. It's got a lovely burn to it. It's almost like a cool burn, but that Poche feel, wow. I do, I do it every time I use this stuff. I've only used this set, I think about four or five times. I love the scent, I love the Poche feel. I think it's outstanding. It was good vibrations from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Amazing labels, great tubs. I love how it's all written around the sides as well. Now it is a vegetal based soap. I believe, I'm 100% sure it's vegetal, I'm not even going to have a look. Douglas Smythe does not make anything with tallow based products, I believe. It doesn't use natural hair brushes either, he doesn't sell natural hair brushes as far as I'm aware. Everything is vegan, vegetal, whatever you want to call it. No animal products whatsoever, but super products, not the same. So I've got a little bit of redness down here. What I find with the splashes when they've got quite a good amount of alcohol content is they do bring a redness out on your skin because there's so many good properties in the splash itself, it generally dies down very quickly, your skin starts feeling great. I've still got a great cooling sensation right now. The brush, as I've just shown, was the Simog Owners Club Taj 24ml Premium Serda, Premium Boar Bristle, and that knot looks amazing. I'm sure you'll agree. Now this one is pretty well broken in now. Tips on a lot of the hairs have split. It has become very soft. It does not have a lot of backbone. So if you're looking for a brush or a bore brush with a little backbone, this isn't the brush for you. This is soft, velvety on the skin. There's no scratch or scratch, but there's got no real backbone. It just splays. And as you can see, it's there's no real effort in getting it to splay, but it does feel great on the face. The first razor was the Drew Dick Custom. And look, there's not much more I can say about this. I do have a few photographs on Instagram and on Facebook about it, but it's a superb razor. If you want a razor with an excellent edge that works really well, I mean, I'm no straight razor magician, I'm not great with them, but this one's very comfortable to hold. It works extremely well. It's great for a beginner. Seven eighths, English point, it's great for a beginner. I have to say it's very easy for me to use and I'm by no stretch of the imagination, very good with it. Finished off today with the Carve Christopher Bradley Razor, all brass construction, CNC machined. It's a good 0.85 blade gap and it does have open comb. These will be available, from what I can tell, pretty soon. I'm getting absolutely no response whatsoever from Carve again. It's pretty disappointing. Um, I'm a big fan of customer service, a massive fan of at least getting back to people. Um, I'm not getting any, any bites back from Chris at the moment. I'm sure he will eventually get back to me as he does, but I have asked a few questions about his where he's going and what's happening and had no response whatsoever. I know he's around because he's liking videos and pictures and stuff I'm putting out there. He is commenting on things, he's answering questions, but I'm getting nothing back from Facebook Messenger at the moment. So we'll see where that goes over the next little while. Finished the shave off today with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Good vibrations after shave splash. Now you can't see the price on there. This was purchased from Pasteur's and this was very kindly sent to me from Oy Bay Chapel over in the States this set. Outstanding. Thanks again mate for sending it. But beautiful, beautiful shave. Post shave feel on that splash um, is outstanding. It is as good as Moyle Grooming. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. There is a little bell next to the subscribe button. Click on that if you want to see any more videos or you want to be notified when I make one or put one up. But just be sure to know they should be rocking out every Tuesday and Saturday. If there's extras, they'll still come out on a Tuesday and Saturday. I'll just probably time them differently. You guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.